game has wrapped. The Cougars are on the court. Hands off to Foose, bobbles, collects, two, he got it, and the score! Live play-by-play coverage of BYU basketball is brought to you by All Pro Capital, Real Estate Investments, by Big O Tires. Stop by your locally owned and operated Big O Tires, the team you trust. Brought to you by Les Olson IT, your office technology partner. By Val Hall of Fiduciary, expertise and independence in hedge funds. Brought to you by Delta, the official airline of BYU basketball. Also brought to you by Smith's Food and Drug. Get double fuel points and free grocery delivery with a boost by Smith's Rewards Membership. It's time to play BYU basketball. We'll get to the painted area, out to Jackson Big. Three for the lead, yes! Jackson Robinson. On the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Time for BYU basketball and time to meet tonight's starting lineups. Brought to you by Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. We'll start with the Dons of San Francisco. 13-9 and nine on the year, 2-5 and five in the WCC. Chris Gerlofson in his first year on the Hilltop. Starting on the, in the backcourt for USF. Number zero, Khalil Shabazz. Shabazz, six foot one seventy, the senior from Seattle, Washington, and a transfer from Central Washington. Also in the backcourt, number one, Tyrell Roberts, 5'11", 175, senior from Sacramento, California, transfer from Washington State. He scored 11 points at the Marriott Center in Wazoo's win over BYU in last season's postseason NIT. At the three, number three, Isaiah Hawthorne, 6'8", 205, a sophomore from Tracy, California. At the four, number 11, Josh Coonan, Coonan, 6'8", 210, junior from Melbourne, Australia. And at the five, number 15, Zane Meeks, 6'8", make it 6'9", a 220-pound junior from Prairie Village, Kansas, and a transfer from Nevada. That's starting five for the Dons. Mark Duran introduces now your BYU Cougars. At the point guard for the Cougars, number 30, Dallin Hall, 6'4", freshman out of Plain City, Utah. Two-man is number 20, Spencer Johnson, 6'5", junior from American Fork, Utah. Small forward is number five, Gideon George, 6'6", 210, the senior from Mina, Nigeria. At the four, number two, Jackson Robinson, 6'7", 190, sophomore from Ada, Oklahoma. And at the five spot, the big fellow, the man in the middle, number 45, Fusini Torre, 6'6", 240, sophomore out of Mali. That's your starting five for the 14-8 and eight Cougars, four and three in West Coast Conference play, two and three in true away games, coached by head coach Mark Pope in season four. Back game of a two-game Bay Area road swing. BYU looking to shake off the setback at Santa Clara on Thursday. So BYU's lost eight times this year, and seven of the eight losses, Mark, have been close games, seven points or fewer. They've been in a lot of close games this year. Now, part of the reason for that is they rebound so well, and they play pretty good defense, and that keeps you in games. And, and they've done a pretty good job of winning close games, but they've had their share of losing close games as well. And so that's really something they can work on because they'll be in games and now just have to find a way to really finish strong. The officials for tonight's game are Vern Harris, Crystal Hogan, and Wilson Holland. BYU and USF. The Dons have somewhat steadied the ship after three straight losses. They've gone 2-2. Two and two. In this series against BYU, they've won five of the last nine. But if you want to parse it down a little more, BYU's won four of the last six. Chris Gerlison, associate head coach with Todd Golden here at USF last season. Previously in the WCC, he was an assistant at San Diego, also coaching at Hawaii recently. USF, 6-15 and 15 in the last 21 games. If you want to stretch it out against BYU, as mentioned, Dons and Cougs were picked tied for third in the preseason WCC coaches poll. All right, here we go. USF will be in the home whites with green and gold and BYU in the black jerseys. Black with white and royal. Royal numerals. Royal front chest lettering. White lettering on the back and white is the accent color. So BYU in black and USF in white. It'll be Zane Meeks and Fusene Traore. To contest the opening tap, Wilson Holland has the ball ready for play. He tosses it up, and Foo slaps it back to Jackson Robinson, who taps in turn to Dallin Hall. And the Cougs are in the front court. They will go from left to right as we see it and you hear it. The BYU front court away from us to our right, and we are underway. Dallin Hall outside the three-point line left side. 
Enters it to Foos. Mid alley left. Bounces once to get to the middle. Jump hook with the right hand. That falls off the left side of the rim. It's rebounded by Isaiah Hawthorne. So they got Foose the early touch and the early shot. Just misses yeah. it short. Yeah, that's a pretty good look. And uh, the double didn't come. So keep going to it if you can. Shabazz, right wing. A bounce pass short corner right to Kuhn. And the cutter's Roberts. But Dallin Hall got in the way. Knocked it into the corner. But Roberts trouble. calls huh? timeout. Fouling out of bounds. So he was walking the high wire in that far corner was Tyrell Roberts. And as he tipped out of bounds he called timeout and so an early timeout only 39 seconds in it's maybe one of the earliest timeouts in college basketball this year this is an unusual situation to have it but it came with a player falling out of bounds so to keep his team in possession he called timeout so we have a 30 second break the dons have called their first timeout of the evening and it comes very very early a lot of byu fans in the stands here on the hilltop in the pregame concourse area i met the wilson family out of highlands ranch colorado and they told me they've been going to a lot of WCC venues over the years and have really appreciated the chance to travel around the West and the West Coast and see their Cougars play. And so appreciate people like the Wilsons who travel from near Denver to come out to the West Coast to watch their team today. The coaches want this inbound to come in the corner rather than uh, just outside the key like you typically see because that's where the timeout was called. So they'll put it on baseline. But they don't They don't listen yeah. to the coaches. So just to the right of the bucket, it'll be a baseline out of bounds beneath the bucket for Khalil Shabazz, and he'll lob it into Meeks in the right corner. Meeks posting up from the right, spins to the base, leans into Foose. I thought he traveled on that, and he did. So Crystal Hogan makes the call there, and it's a turnover for USF. We're still scoreless, 46 seconds in. San Francisco struggled this year, but they've had some good wins, too. They just demolished Arizona State. That just shows you how, how good they can be when they're hitting their threes. They can get, get away from you. Led by almost 51 by 37. Dallin Hall calls for a screen on the right wing. Foose then rolls off it as Dallin Hall will take it to the left block and squeeze it up with the right hand. Does not get the shooter's bounce, and it'll be a rebound to Meeks, who outlets to Roberts, and USF in front court right in front of us. USF goes right to left. Wow, Roberts just blew past Hall. A drift pass in the corner to Hawthorne. A touch pass to Meeks for three, and that's it. It's good. Looked like it was going to pop out, and it dropped through for Zane Meeks, so an early three, and the Dons have a 3 nothing lead. You can see how they want the three. They passed up a layup to kick it out to the corner, and then good ball movement. Yeah, Roberts could have taken it right yep. to the rim easily. Hall, straightaway Robinson, nearly a pick, knocked out of bounds, saved in, rather, by Gideon George on the far sideline. He'll drive it all the way, hand off to Foose. Foose will pop it off the window, up and in, and it's 3-2. So Foose scores, and the Cougs are on the board for the first time today. One minute, 45 seconds in. USF 3 and BYU 2. Meeks again for 3. This one's off. Rebound Robinson. Jackson Robinson for BYU outlets to Dallin Hall. Dallin Hall front court left. Gideon, perimeter left. Mid alley left to Foose. Foose bounces it out to the wing, gives to Gideon. Gideon to Foose, left junction. Foose squares on Meeks, bounces it low to Hall, and a turnover as he whipped a one handed pass to Gideon George on the right wing, and it sailed right out of bounds. So turnovers even one apiece in a game that USF leads 3 to 2. We're 2 minutes and 12 seconds in. Dallin should have shot that. He. He had a post up on Shabazz, and he, he's got a real size advantage. He missed his first one, so maybe a little hesitant, but got to go on the right spot to do that. Khalil Shabazz, left corner, Hawthorne, wipes away Dallin Hall. Pass from the corner, Kunin, up high to Meeks, and left to Shabazz for three, and that's good. Khalil Shabazz with a three. Both of USF's makes are from three, and it's 6-2 to two USF. Just not not good intensity. Gideon easily could have been out there. Knew it was coming on the reversal. Dallin Hall, free throw line. Pass right wing to Jackson Robinson. Robinson will take it out between the circles on a 15-second shot clock. To Foose left side. The handoff there to Hall. Hall will drive it to the free throw line. Spins to 12 feet out to Robinson. Pulls and fires from three. And it's short. Rebound, Shabazz. USF doesn't have numbers. Shabazz runs it left side. 6-2 to two, USF. Roberts for three. And that's off the back rim. Rebound to Foose. USF has already shot four threes, made two of four. Jackson Robinson for three, and that's good. And Jackson Robinson now hit, now hit a three in 11 straight games. It's his new season-long streak. He had two 10-game runs, and now it goes to 11. This one goes to 11 as it's with 16.35 to go until halftime. BYU pulls to within a score of 6-5. to five. Driving lay in the other way, Khalil Shabazz with the answer. He's got five, and the Don's up 8-5. to 16.30 to play till halftime. Pretty uninspired so far defensively. Easy layup for 
to Baez. Spencer Johnson gets touched and posts up Roberts. Bangs into Roberts, knocks him over, and they will call the offensive foul on Spencer Johnson. A little exaggerated on the reaction by Roberts, but it did the trick. And it's a turnover for BYU on the offensive foul to Spencer Johnson. And he's really being chested up by Roberts, and then Roberts, who threw his chest into Spencer, then fell back on it, and the offensive foul was called. It's one of the officials' favorite call to make. They almost always goes against the offensive player. Eight to five, Dons. Three minutes and 45 seconds into the first half here on the Hilltop. Tyrell Roberts, the former Washington State Cougar, top of the key, has Foos on the switch and shoots a three over him and scores it. We've had seen a couple of soft rims for USF, threes that pop out and drop back in. I want to shoot a three, man. They, they've had some real good shooters' bounces so far. So three threes already for USF, and 11-5 to five is the score. BYU down six. Gideon George misses from three left side. And Gideon's field goal drought is now 14 consecutive misses going back three games. Rebound to USF, Shabazz. Sees a pass picked by Gideon George. Gideon steals it back. Gideon left wing, Dallin Hall. Dallin Hall, 25 feet, goes corner left to Spencer Johnson. Back to Hall on the left arc. He calls for a screen set by Foose on the left wing. Dallin will drive off it, bounce it, out of bounds. Miscommunication. And another turnover from Dallin Hall. A timeout on the floor. 15-25 to go until halftime. USF up by a six-point lead. 11 to 5, and BYU already with three turnovers at the first media timeout. We're taking a break on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. On the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU fans, Hotel Park City was named as one of America's top 25 hotels in TripAdvisor's 2022 Traveler's Choice Awards. So you've got one of the best of the very best in your own backyard. So book your Hotel Park City stay today. We've got 15-25 to play in the first half here on the Hilltop. It is USF 11 and BYU 5. The Cougs have one Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer. It came off the hand of Jackson Robinson. Jackson now with threes in 11 straight games. And that's another $50 donated to the American Red Cross, courtesy of Mountain America Credit Union, a Mountain America 3. That's BYU's only three. BYU one for three from deep. USF is three for five already from the three-point line. It's interesting. The other night... The Dons scored 78 points. Exactly half of those points, 39, came from the three-point line. 50%. And so far, nine of their 11 points have come from the three-point line. You know what they want to do, and they've gotten the looks they want to get. A pretty uninspired uh, defensive effort for BYU to start this one, and then and turning it over again. This this trend of having more turnovers than field goals in the first 10 minutes of a half, or yeah. it, it's got to change. And, no, Dallin's kind of playing at one and a half time speed right now. He just needs to take a deep breath and just slow himself down a little bit. He's just get, just too playing too fast out there right now. USF possession front court right in front of us. They go right to left here in half number one. A pass to Tyrell Roberts on the wing left side. Tries to wipe away Robinson who's called for the hold. Jackson Robinson picks up the foul. That's BYU's second team foul. USF yet to foul. So USF on the sideline. USF has two bench players who are seven foot two inches one of them Saba Gigi Berea has entered the game 7'2", 248 sophomore from Tbilisi Georgia and a transfer from appropriately enough Georgia Tech here in the states <laughs> Terrell Roberts three-point land left corner drives toward the painted area will go right wing to Isaiah Hawthorne Hawthorne into a three and knocks it down that's four threes already for USF and it's a 14 to 5 cushion for the Dons Four different players have threes, Mark, in the yeah. first five minutes. Hard to imagine playing a team like the Dons and not being ready to, to guard that three-point line. Ball knocked away from Foos. Turnover number four. USF running it. Gigi Maria runs it up to the rim. Up and in. And 16-5, to five, just like on Thursday. BYU's down double digits early, Mark. Yeah, a lot of turnovers. Another one there. Just, uh, just sloppy. Gigi Maria off the bench with two. 16-5 to five Dons. We're five and a half minutes in. Gideon George to the painted area. Comes to a stop with two feet. Looking to squeeze up a shot. Does and misses at the rim. Mm. That's 15 consecutive field goal misses for Gideon going back to the Gonzaga game. Might be, have to be Spencer. He hit a couple threes early in that Santa Clara game to kind of get BYU right. Rebound USF and they're in front court right in front of us. Khalil Shabazz steps back to the left arc. Looks for help and has it in Hawthorne. Gideon George puts a hand in Hawthorne's face. Hawthorne gives to Shabazz right in front of us here courtside. We're down to a seven second shot clock. Hawthorne beats Hall to the paint and another reaching foul on BYU. That'll be number three 
against the Cougs and zero team fouls against USF. Dallin Hall picks it up and Coach Pope going to the bench brigade. Waterman, Williams, and Saunders all in for the Cougs. We have 13.57 to play and BYU's down 11 at 16-5. BYU basketball brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen have been helping Utah families for over 30 years. Learn more at SiegfriedandJensen.com. Former Wyoming Cowboy and Texas A&M Aggie, Marcus Williams enters the game for USF. Counts to four as he gets it into Shabazz. Steps back in the left corner and bounces it on the wing to Tyrell Roberts. Roberts out front. Now back to the left. Johnson applies some pressure. Roberts rids himself of Johnson, drives baseline, step back, and in and out on a baseline jumper. And turned out of bounds by Gigi Berea. He grabbed the rebound and rolled it to Roberts, but Roberts had vacated, so it's a turnover for USF. That'll be turnover number three to BYU's four, and the Cougs down 11, 16 to 5. So this game starting very much like the one Thursday did, but BYU found itself back in that game and took a lead in the second half. Johnson top of the key, three, no, it's wide left. Gigi Berea has the rebound. Outlet, Shabazz, Shabazz, past the timeline. 13.20 to go in half number one. BYU's down 11. Gideon, or rather, Atiki Ali Atiki will enter in a moment. Shabazz drives it low and dribbles it off his leg. Out of bounds, turnover. So both teams loose with the ball early, Mark. Yep. Four turnovers apiece. <laughs> Similar to the other night, because Santa Clara, we talk about the BYU turnovers. They turned it over a lot early that let BYU stick around a little bit. BYU desperately needs just a, a good offensive possession here to get, get going. 10-0 USF run right now. I saw a graphic earlier today that showed BYU is one of the teams nationally that allows the most runs and goes on the fewest runs of double digits. And BYU is on the receiving end of a 10-0 spurt. Jump pass from Williams to Saunders' right corner. A baseline teardrop is good for Richie. He's starting to show that little shot. That little push almost a shot put for Richie. He knocks it down, ends the 10-0 run, and BYU is down 9, 16-7. Saunders with two. Williams. Marcus Williams. Guarded by Rudy Williams. Gigi Berea, top of the arc, hounded by Atiki. Gigi Berea holds it high, lets traffic blow by, and then knocked out of bounds by Atiki. It'll stay USF basketball with an 11-second shot clock and a 12-34 first half game clock. Zane Meeks is in, and Saba Gigi Berea will take a seat. Marcus Williams, sideline send in near the BYU team area, finds Meeks out front. Meeks plays with a white short sleeve shirt beneath his white jersey. Hands off Marcus Williams up top down to a three-second shot clock. And a ball knocked away. Is there a foul call? A kick, isn't that? A kick. Will so that reset it to it 20? Will to 20 so yeah. a real break for the Dons. Yeah, the shot clock was down to three, and they were hunting for a shot. Now it'll be a full 20 in the front court. 12.25 to go till the break. It's USF by nine, 16 to 7. BYU has not led in this game. He thought... Shabazz thought it was a three-second shot clock and fired it up. A terrible shot. BYU rebound. Missed the three in front of the BYU bench. Cougs on the rebound. Saunders top of the key. So Williams was unaware, or Shabazz was. The shot clock had reset, as Mark noted. Saunders squeezing it up beneath the basket. Offensive rebound, Noah Waterman. A reset to Atiki. Atiki knocks over Josh Coonan. All right, no, beg your pardon. That's uh, Duedo Newbury. Either way, it's an offensive foul and a charge and a turnover, and it's USF basketball leading at 16 to seven. Duedo Newbury made his season debut on Thursday, and the London, England native had career highs in points, rebounds, and assists with nine, eleven, and two, and he is in. And man, a great collection of talent on this USF team. Marcus Williams, left wing. 11.50 on the first half game clock. Comes to a stop. Hands off to Newbury. Newbury blocked beneath the basket. The ball loose to Meeks, though. Meeks squeezes it up and scores it. Good hustle by Meeks, but the Cougars appeared to have the rebound mark and lost it beneath the hoop. He's having a hard time squeezing that ball on those rebounds. And second chance opportunity for the Doms. 18-7 on the Meeks make. He's got five. We'll take the under 12-minute media break on the whistle. Jason Shepard standing by with a scoreboard update. Rudy Williams drives to 10 feet. He tear drops it nice. and rattles it home. Rudy with his first two off the bench. Scored 24 at Santa Clara after scoring 23 in his previous four games combined. Khalil Shabazz between the rings to Meeks left wing. Collides with Spencer Johnson trying to go over the screen. And then Meeks turns it over. Bad pass. Leaking is Rudy. Rudy on a three-on-two. Draws contact. Scoops it up and misses it. But he'll get two free throws after this break. 11.03 to go till halftime. USF picking up its first foul of the game to BYU's four. It'll put Rudy at the line for two after this. USF 18, BYU 9. Cougs down nine. Rudy can make it seven. Following this timeout on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. 
You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard for the scoreboard update. Elsewhere on the WCC, Portland gets the win at home over Pepperdine 91-76. And in Moraga right now, first half action, St. Mary's leading Santa Clara by 5, 15-10. Back to War Memorial Gym in San Francisco. Let's rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Jason, thank you. Cougar fans, you can get more savings and more benefits with Boost by Smith's Rewards Membership. You'll enjoy free delivery and double fuel points for every dollar you spend on groceries and lots more. Membership starts at just $59, so sign up today at smithsfoodanddrug.com slash boost. Cougars looking to improve on their exemplary Saturday record this season. BYU 5-1 in Saturday games, losing record in Thursday games. The Cougs lost on Thursday at Santa Clara. BYU in bounce back mode, but the Cougs have trailed from the start in this one. BYU no leads in the game, and USF has led by as many as 11 already at 18-7. The score is 18-9, so BYU looking to put together a little 4-0 spurt, and they can do so with two free throws from Rudy Williams, who shoots as we come back in. Rudy bends the knees, releases the orb, and scores, and Rudy has three. And so Rudy Williams, 25 of his last 29 at the free throw line. Looking to go 26 for 30 with a free throw make here. Be up in the upper 80s, almost 90% in this stretch. For the season, he's at 82% from the stripe. Excellent. Rudy shoots and scores. So a 2 for 2 for Rudy. He's got 4 to lead BYU. And the Cougs have scored 4 in a row to trail by 7, 18 to 11. Both teams with 5 turnovers, but the Dons have uh, 13 to 4 on points off turnovers. Following the Santa Clara script. Yep. Meeks, dribble handoff on the right wing to Tyrell Roberts. The Wazoo transfer as Johnson goes under the screen. Now it's a switch with a tiki on Roberts who hands off low to Newberry. Newberry locked at the rim. It got to the rim but fell off on a rebound to Waterman. BYU on a 4-0 run looking to make it 6 or 7 straight with Waterman top of the key. Straddles the three-point line left side. Rudy's open for three, won't take it. Atiki now top of the arc. Atiki Ali Atiki bounces twice to the right and goes right wing to Richie Saunders. Ooh, as Atiki just rubs off Hawthorne. Free Saunders for the jumper, and it drops in. Richie Saunders has four, and the Cougs have a 6 nothing run. These rims are fantastic, but a nice little jumper from Richie. Didn't rush things, found a little opening, and hit the shot. And he got a, he got a wicked screen from Atiki. He's lucky yeah. not to get a foul. Nice body check by Atiki to free Richie. Isaiah Hawthorne on the right wing. BYU 6 nothing spurt. Three for Hawthorne. Oh, man alive. What an answer. Isaiah Hawthorne with his second three. The Dons have their fifth three. They're now five for nine from deep. BYU just one three-point basket. That's why the Cougs trail by eight, 21 to 13. Waterman for three to answer. Pops out. Rims unkind that time. And uh, Marcus Williams grabs the carom. Waterman, seven for his last 24, one for his last 10 threes. Marcus Williams between the legs on a tiki, wipes him away, will drive low and take a hip check out front. That'll be John. Oh, no, it's Spencer Johnson, Mark. An innocuous little leg sent in, and it will be his second foul. And so Spencer will go to the bench again. That's a crazy With call. 21 to 13, the score. So Trey Stewart will check in, and Spencer Johnson will have a seat. Johnson sitting with a scoreless first half so far has taken one shot missed a three and that's it and now he's in foul trouble BYU's down 8 21 to 13 USF doing it to the three point line they made five threes and three twos and this follows their script this is who they are now a whistle the second seven foot two bench player Volodymyr Markovetsky has entered the game he's from the Ukraine and a transfer from Washington State from Ukraine is Markovetsky open for three Roberts off the inbound missed it strong and Noah Waterman in the fight for the rebound gets fouled it'll be Josh Coonan over the back so Coonan picks up the Dons second Meeks has one Coonan has one BYU with five team fouls here in the first half it's BYU basketball down eight 21 to 13 9 18 to go till halftime BYU from left to right as we see it and you hear it the BYU front court away from us to our right 1-3-1 half court zone trap from the Dons Rudy looking into that zone and passes right corner to Trey Stewart. Stewart gets into the paint and traveled. Turn it over. That's turnover number six for BYU. Just got caught in the paint. Didn't know what he wanted to do with it and dragged that back foot. So BYU gives it up. The Cougs have six turnovers to five field goals made. It's tough for Trey to get minutes when the first possession he has the other night and now tonight is is a turnover. He just 
Can't make those mistakes if you want time on the floor. Step back three for Roberts. Yes, that's six threes for USF already. Six for 11. And it's a game-high 11-point lead again, 24-13. to 13. After a 6-0 BYU run, it's a 6-0 run the other way for USF on two made threes. Atiki Ali Atiki straddles a three-point line. Lobs a pass to Rudy Williams, 25 feet away left side. Rudy passes out of an 18-footer to Waterman near the timeline. Caught Noah unawares, but he tracked it down. Noah now left wing, down to an eight-second shot clock. 8.28 game clock. Noah Waterman step back, won't take that three. Down to four, down to three on the shot with two. Rudy pulls, fires, scores! He banks in the three on the left side. It's a Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer for Rudy Williams. Unconventional, but it's three for BYU in an eight-point deficit, 24-16. to 16. Now in front court, what do we have? The foul, the foul on, on BYU. Let's we'll see if it was a technical. I don't think she... I think it was. A, it might have been a taunting technical. Let's see here. It's called on Rudy. Yep. And I think it was a taunting tech after making the three. Yeah. Wow. Banking it in. And then picking up the tech. So 24-16, to 16, USF leading it by 8. They can make it 10 and get possession here as Tyrell Roberts will go to the free throw line where he's shooting 81%, and he makes the free throw. He's got four points. The Washington State transfer, double-figure scoring in all 22 games this season. And makes both free throws. Center cut, he's got five. Six for Hawthorne, five for Shabazz, five for Roberts, five for Meeks. Ten-point game, 26-16. Dons can play for a new game-high cushion right here. The USF large lead's been 11, and now they lead by 10 and the ball. So BYU scores a three, but then may give up four or five points the other way. You know, it's a, it's cool to hit that shot, and you're feeling good, but you just can't make that kind of mistake. It hurts your team. Roberts has it knocked away by Saunders. Forces Roberts into backcourt, where he collects with a 14-second shot clock. Now he races at frontcourt. The under-eight-minute media timeout coming up. Roberts passes right wing Hawthorne, and Hawthorne a blind pass into the paint and turns it over. Not a good pass, and a turnover the other way. BYU takes it into front court. 7.45 to play until the break, and offensive foul. Richie Saunders moving screen. That'll be team foul number six, and timeout on the floor. USF basketball with a 10-point lead after this. Dons 26, Cougars 16. And beg your pardon, that was team foul number seven, so the Dons will be in the single bonus when we come back to the Hilltop. USF 26, BYU 16. The Cougars plagued by turnover trouble again. Eight here in the first half. And points off of turnovers are 16 to four the other way. And that's why the Cougars trail by double digits here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's get you back to the Built Bar courtside seats and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. USF Dons 26 and BYU 16. BYU basketball is brought to you in part by JCW's. Dinner after the game at JCW's includes something for everybody. From burgers to wings, shakes to salads, JCW's quality and a lot of it. In Lehigh, American Fork, Provo, South Jordan, and Harriman. Well, you know the USF Dons are very three-point reliant. In fact, in 17 of 22 games this year, they've made more threes than their opponents. And so far in this one, it's 6 of 11 shooting from deep for the Dons to BYU's 2 of 6. The Dons have 10 or more threes in four of the last five games, and they're pacing for double-digit threes in this game. They've got the basketball as we come back in. The Dons' large lead's been 11. They can make it 12 or 13 on this possession. 7.40 to play till halftime. USF in white, BYU in black. And USF's front court right in front of us. Foose went for the steal of an unsuspecting Josh Coonan. And then Coonan nearly gives it away off a high dribble in the corner. He gets rid of it to Tyrell Roberts. That's a good plan for Coonan. Roberts gets a high screen by Mark Obetsky, And then there's tight traffic for Roberts who steps back and takes a three and misses it. The rebound, Fuseni Traore. Foose with his second board to go with two points. Waterman passes out of a transition triple to Jackson Robinson. Baseline fade away for Jax. Rolls around and drops down. Jackson Robinson with five points here in the first half. A two in the right wing. And BYU draws with an eight, 26 to 18. Jackson and Foose, all the starting scoring with the eight points for BYU. Not enough. Got to get better production from your starters. Shabazz out front. He goes into a three that spins out. Rebound to Noah Waterman. Good board work by Waterman early in this one. He's got four rebounds to lead BYU. Absolutely. He's been great on the boards and a great pass down to Foose. Sees an immediate double. Pushes him out to the short corner left straight away. Robinson pull, fires, score. Jackson Robinson, smooth shooting and leads the Cougs with eight. BYU draws to within five at 26-21. to 21. It's a 5 nothing BYU run. The Cougs have made three in a row from the field. 
Good job by Foose not to force that when the double came and found the open shooter. It's another Mountain America Credit Union three for BYU. Cooks now three for seven from deep. Markovetsky hands off to Roberts straight away. Tyrell Roberts will drive on Jackson, pull up at the elbow, shoot and score. Tyrell Roberts is a shot maker. That's seven for Roberts, and the Dons lead is seven, 28-21. Foose, dribble handoff, right wing Robinson. Robinson, hard drive to the right baseline. Stops on the end line, leans in from 15. Doesn't get the bounce. And the rebound to Hawthorne. Outlet Shabazz. Shabazz front court right side. USF by 7, 28-21. A skip pass left corner. Coonan will head fake it. Drive on Waterman, get right to the rim. And missed it too strong on the layup. We saw it was going to be heavy, didn't we? Uh, It was wide open. He just shot it too hard, but not Gideon. Gideon George the other way. Driving lay in timeout. Chris Gurlison very frustrated. He missed an easy two at one end and they, they give up two and transition at the other end how does Kunin miss that but we saw when it came off his hand had way too much heat on it it's a 28-23 ball game as Gerlison calls timeout with 5.39 to go a 30 second break we'll stay right here with it so Gideon George after missing 15 consecutive shots from the field dating back to the Gonzaga game finally ends the drought he's one for three tonight gets on the board with the field goal for two BYU's scoring is Robinson 8, Williams 7, 4 for Saunders, and then 2's for George and Traore. Playing in yet to score, Waterman, Atiki, Stewart, Hall, and Johnson. BYU shooting 50%, USF shooting 50%. But the Dons' lead is courtesy of 6 of 13 shooting from deep to BYU's 3 of 7. We have 5.39 to go till halftime. We're out of timeout. USF has called two timeouts already. And BYU's yet to call a timeout. And it's Don's basketball. They'll take it the full 94. Josh Coonan, part of a four-point swing a moment ago, blowing a lay-in at the rim. And BYU scoring the other way with Gideon. Shabazz to Coonan, left junction. Straight away Meeks for three. Yep. Uh, most of these threes have come shooting over either Atiki or Foose. They're just having a hard time, especially Meeks is a five. You've got to get out there. And even when they switch, they're just kind of waiting to see who have Foose and Atiki have, and then they shoot the three over the top of them. Eight for Meeks, including two threes. That's already seven threes for USF. Saunders gets a wipeout screen from Foose, and then Richie will drive it and miss the lay-in attempt. The rebound to Tyrell Roberts. Roberts racing into front court. Stops on the arc. Coonan. On the arc, sees it deflected out of bounds by Jackson Robinson. It'll stay USF basketball. 4.55 to play until halftime. Marcus Williams in. Josh Coonan out. Coonan does not look great for the Dons. Has been rather uncertain with the ball. And Chris Gerlison gives him a talking to as he has a seat. So the Dons get a little bit smaller. Khalil Shabazz. Career high 32 against BYU back in Mark Pope's first season of 2019-20. Shabazz... Only four points. Oh, and he turns it over off the inbounds to uh, to George. George oh, down great. for Foose. And Foose gets great hit by move. Meeks. He'll get two free throws with 4.50 to play until halftime. An unforced error on USF on the inbounds. And the Cougars take it the other way with Foose. Missing the attempt to score at the rim, but will look to score two from the free throw line. I was mentioning before the uh, turnover there, Shabazz. Had only four points a game in his last two, but has already surpassed that with five in the first half here. As Foose goes to the line for two. And Foose has made 40 of his last 45 at the free throw line. And now 41 of 46. That's right around 90%. This is a stretch going back multiple weeks. And he's just all but automatic right now at the line. Just in the flow and he's feeling good. And showing a little uh, handles there. Bringing the ball up the court and cross it over. Gets both free throws. You come to expect that now. But I, I like to see the, the ball handling from the big fella. He's an 80% free throw shooter as BYU starting big. Dallin Hall back in the game. Cougars look. There it is. Zone. Zone. Yep. 31-25. USF by six. Shabazz straight away. Williams. He'll fake the three. Pass to Shabazz who dribbles into a three. And misses it strong. Far side. Jackson Robinson grabs the rebound. Jackson will take it into front court. Has to cut it to 4-3 here on this possession. 4-20 to go till the break. BYU down six. This game is following the Santa Clara script almost to a T. Dallin Hall dribbles to the right block and then turns it over. Well, speaking of the script. Just just way too many turnovers from your point guard. And then Tyrell Roberts draws a reach from Richie Saunders. One and one for Roberts the other way. Richie picks up his second foul. The Cougs have their eighth team foul. And that comes off of BYU's eighth turnover of the first half. 16 to 6 is the points off of turnovers advantage. You almost have to have a QB mentality. Your point guard is a QB of the team and 
you just can't throw interceptions. I mean, you got to, even if you have to run the ball, just make sure you don't throw interceptions and give the other team opportunities. And Dallin, I think, with three already in this one. Now, they credited the turnover or gave it to Saunders, but it felt like, no, it no, felt no, like no, Dallin no. Hall's. That's, <laughs> yeah. No way. Saunders, or rather, you beg your pardon, Roberts rattles home the first free throw. He has eight including three for three from the free throw line. So the turnover at one end, and it's already one point the other way. And another point off of turnover. And another two points off of turnovers. More than half of USF points in the first half have come off of BYU turnovers. 33-25, 4.05 to go till halftime. Gideon George at 35 feet stumbles as he takes a hip. Timeout on the floor. Non-shooting foul. It'll be BYU basketball on the sideline when we come back to the hilltop. 33-25. BYU's trailed all the way in this one. USF leads it by 8. 3.57 to go until the break on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. Back to Mark Durant and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel, for more BYU basketball on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. Cougar fans, home is where you get to do your thing, and whatever your thing is, it's better without bugs. For guaranteed year-round pest protection, visit SalaPest.com. That's Sala, S-A-E-L-A, Pest.com. Well, USF relying on three-pointers and BYU turnovers for an eight-point lead, 33-25. 21 of USF's 33 points, courtesy of the three-pointer. And 18 of their 33 points, courtesy of BYU turnovers. BYU's turned it over eight times. And USF's done about as good as you can do. They've turned eight turnovers into 18 (laughs) points. That's better than two points per BYU turnover. That that is not a good stat in your favor. Again, it's a game where you think BYU's just got to be getting drilled. But yet they're they're only down eight with the chance to cut it to six or five here. 33-25, BYU basketball off a non-shooting foul before the timeout. We have 3.55 to go till halftime. Dallin Hall enters it and turns it over again. That's turnover number nine. And Dallin Hall's been the culprit for most of these first half giveaways, unfortunately. Be at USF in front court now. And that was a simple entry to the elbow that got knocked away. Marcus Williams, top of the key, wipes away Saunders. Drives to the left block, leans in, fades away. Jump hook wildly missed. And the rebound tracked down by Shabazz on the arc left side. Shabazz, straightaway Marcus Williams. Raises and pulls it down. Begins to dribble out between the rings with a 12-second shot clock. 3.20 on the game clock. Williams gets to the rim. High off the glass. No. The tip, no, by Gigi Maria. And the rebound to Saunders. Good board by Richie. Richie looks down floor, takes it right side. Left wing now Gideon. Gideon at 25. Drops it to Foose. Foose. Strong move on Gigi Berea. A fading away jump hook. Rebounded rebound. by Gideon. He's fouled and he'll draw. Team foul number five on San Francisco. Non-shooting. BYU out of bounds, but good hustle by George to keep that possession alive. Off the miss by Foose. Rudy Williams in. Noel Waterman in. Richie Saunders out. Dallin Hall out. Dallin Hall officially with three turnovers, but they gave one of his to Richie Saunders, so Dallin's really at four of BYU's nine giveaways here in the first half. Foose and Kika Berea are having a little pushing match there, so the referee comes in, separates them. 33-25, Don's Still lead. BYU Cooks have not point. led here in the first half. Another whistle. Vern Harris will bring it together. Foose and Gigi Berea for a talking to. Saba Gigi Berea, 7'2", 248 sophomore from Georgia. Not the U.S. Georgia, although he did attend college at Georgia Tech before transferring to USF and now it's a hold on USF and team foul number 6 and so BYU will be in the bonus the rest of the way 3.02 to play and a lot of action happening with nothing happening here before the ball can be inbounded he might have been surprised when he showed up at Georgia Tech and it was in America he got the acceptance letter he's like yeah okay I think he was just looking for uh, just something that's felt familiar <laughs> Rudy Williams travels on the far sideline on the double team, and that's turnover number 10. So for the second consecutive game, BYU with double-digit first-half turnovers, and it'll be USF the other way, 2.56 to play. What happened there, Mark? I think he was surprised by the double with Giga Berea. I, I didn't see the travel on the replay, but, yeah, just uh, just seemed flustered and surprised and, and hurrying themselves. Duedo Newberry. Outside to Gigi Berea. Gigi Berea drives and he turns it over. Lost the dribble. Gideon George on the strip. To the trailer, Foose. Foose, top of the arc. George straight away. Will now drive down the lane and dribble it off his foot. Turnover number 11. (laughs) It's a turnover fest for this team this week. Holy smokes. The two teams combining for 19 turnovers 
and 20 shots made here in the first half. Mm. Khalil Shabazz, slow bounce out front. And slow may be the way to go right now. Just, just get across <laughs> half court and shoot it. I mean, at least, you, at least you'll get a shot up. Tyrell Roberts hands off to Newbury. Newbury to Roberts out front. Left wing stripe extended to Marcus Williams. Down to a 10 second shot clock. Roberts straight away. Roberts with the taller Robinson on him. Slaloms into the paint, put it on the floor, and gave it up to Shabazz with three and with two. An NBA three missed. Slap out rebound to Foos. Quick outlet Rudy. Two on two the other way. Williams Euros. Teardrops. Misses. It's an air ball into the hands of George, who's fouled and will get free throws. Wow, what a sequence. Rudy Euroed from about 20 feet and then just floated it up around the left elbow. Didn't go, but went into the hands of Gideon, who was fouled and will go to the free throw line for one and one on team foul number seven. So one and one for George. Gideon on the year 73%. He's made 16 of his last 20 free throws. As mentioned earlier, he had thir- uh, 15 consecutive field goal misses until making earlier in this half. He's one for three for two points. And now he goes to the line for one and one. A tiki alley, a tiki in. Foos out. we got 155 to go till the break. And USF has led all the way in this one. They lead 33-25. Gideon George at the line front end. USF when leading at halftime this year. Just a so-so record, 9-5. and five. By no means automatic leading at the break. Gideon makes the free throw and makes it a seven-point game. That's an important free throw. And, and again, I mean, it seems almost disastrous with the, with the turnovers. But again, BYU single digits just like the other night. Santa Clara, they're in this yep. game. Gideon one for two. Rebound, tap, slapped by Gigi Berea and collected by Shabazz. So one for two trip, seven point lead for USF. 145 to go until halftime. And much like the Santa Clara game, USF chilling out from the field over the last four. Scoring drought of two and a half minutes for the Dons. Gigi Berea hands off to Tyrell Roberts, left side. And reaching is Jackson Robinson. That was an easy call to make, I'm afraid. And that's team foul number nine. So Roberts will have to earn it at the free throw line. And Tyrell Roberts already with 12, Mark, and that's 23 games this year and all 23 in double figures for the Wazoo transfer Tyrell Roberts. Yeah, he's pretty impressive really quick. Hard to keep in front of you. and Shades of Carlos yeah. Stewart. I mean, yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, this is deja vu all over again tonight this game, but he's playing the Stewart role, and he's playing it well. Front end, though. Got to make the first to earn a second, and he makes the first. Look at that, 5 for 5 at the free throw line. For Tyrell Roberts, an 81% free throw shooter on the season. He was averaging 11.5 points per game over his last two. He's already at 13 with 94 seconds to go until halftime. And the Dons can make it a nine-point lead on the free throw make. Roberts for the second of two. He's got 13 points, looking for 14. And there it is. And all six free throws have been no doubters. San Francisco in that timeout, or that that pause, subbed in 14 feet of people. (laughs) So Two both. guys. <laughs> right corner as USF zones it defensively. Waterman, right wing Robinson. Robinson, top of the arc, Atiki, Ali Atiki. Atiki left wing to Rudy. Right wing Jackson Robinson missed the three. And a great rebound by Marcus Williams out leaping Atiki for the board. USF plays for a game high lead here. 105 to play till the break. BYU will most certainly trail at halftime. 35-26, Dons lead it. Cougars have not led here in the first half. Marcus Williams, 25 feet away, into a three. Oh, man, it almost went, popped out, spun out, rebound to Atiki Ali Atiki. Quick outlet to Rudy. Rudy, down floor, Gideon. Gideon gets into the paint and scores off the window. That's a Zions Bank shot of the game for the support you need to power forward. Zions Bank is for you, leaning at the window and banks it for two. BYU within seven, 35-28. Cougs hanging around here on the hilltop. Gideon George with the Zions back shot of the game. USF in front court. Khalil Shabazz has Rudy Williams climbing over the screen. Taking it low is Shabazz. Blocked by Atiki Ali Atiki. And then a foul in the fight for the rebound. George collides with Roberts. They call the foul on whom? It's going to be on Gideon. Nothing he could do, though. Just going for the basketball and could not stop himself. But he'll get the whistle. So if that's team foul number 10, it'll be two shots for Tyrell Roberts to make it again a nine-point game. After a great make the other way by Gideon George. Gideon now with five here in the first half. They got they got the great block, and Gideon was just trying to go get that that ball as it was bouncing away off the block and ran into the, the Dons player. Tyrell Roberts has all the free throw attempts for San Francisco here in the first half, and that's seven for seven now. 
He's got 15 points here before the break. As USF extends the lead to 8, 36 to 28. Shot clock is off. BYU can play for a final shot here in the first half. And another make. 8 for 8 for Tyrell Roberts. 16 points here in the first half. Almost half of the Dons' 37 points. 37-28. Pounding the dribble is Rudy Williams. Left wing, Waterman. Shot clock off, 12 seconds until halftime. Now down to 10 for Rudy. He's 40 feet away near the timeline. Down to 7 and 6 for Rudy. Bounces to the right, to 4 and to 3. Rudy top of the key. Rudy free throw line. Driving low on Markovetsky. Shoots at the horn and scores. But they'll wave it off. They'll take a look at it. But Rudy got it off, we think, after the horn. The score will be 37-28 at halftime. They may take a look at it, but it felt like Rudy squeezed it off late, Mark. Yeah, that's way late. He started too late with about four seconds out near half court. Just did not have enough time to do, but he did. All right, halftime recap is next. USF 37, BYU 28 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.